see the checks here from one week, four thousand, and then other week, five thousand. Today, guess what, guys? As you could tell in the back, I'm getting some free 99 knowledge on the trucking business from the homie Jose right here. Uh, right here, we're in uh, working tomato season in Central California. Are yeah. we gonna be trucking here all day? Tomato season? Yes. Hey, how many tomatoes do we get for free, man? Whichever ones you want, man. They're all right now. Wow, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This is your truck right here? Yeah, so this is my truck. Um, I came in today at 4 in the morning. I did a quick inspection on the trailer and make sure the oil and everything's good. So right now I did the first trip and ready for the second one. How many trips we got today? Uh, we're probably going to do two more, maybe three, maybe a short one at the end of the day. Here's a question everybody wants to know, Jose. Yeah. Is there money in the trucking business? We'll see guys, we'll see. It's going to be a long day today. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then just making sure, you own this? Or you yeah. renting it or how does it work? So I just bought this truck three weeks ago yeah. and uh, before that I was driving as a as a driver for someone in the Bay Area and I decided to buy this for $27,000. $27,000? Yes, but I'm assuming you make more money if you own it, right? Yes, way more money. Way more? Yes. All right, we'll get that information yeah. later on. Let's go. Location 1188 and our directions are right here. So we just follow these directions. Yeah. It's about a 50 mile trip and 50 miles back so about 100 miles so we'll get there and pick up a load and come back to the same location to start being a truck driver it's pretty easy you go to a company and let them know hey i got a truck and then they're gonna tell you where to pick up and where to drop off but i know i know you're telling me but reyes i don't have a truck and that's okay in that case you go to a company so you could get experience but try getting a company that's willing to pay for your classes. Get that free 99 knowledge. And here you come. But Reyes, where do I find these companies? What, who do I look like? Your dad? Am I supposed to do everything for you? And if I do look like your dad, if you're looking in the mirror right now and being like, dang, me and Reyes look alike, you better hit me up with a DNA test. You better take me to Mari. How long have you been trucking? So I've been trucking for a year. Uh, this past July, I just completed a year of truck driving. And uh, the thing with me, so the only reason I'm truck driving is because I want to save money to open up my own business. And I was working at Tesla, and I found out it was going to take way too long working at Tesla to save the money. So, you know, I saved up uh, about $30,000 in like 11 months at Tesla. And I knew what I, exactly what I wanted to do, so I got my license in two weeks. And that's not normal. <laughs> But wait, 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 do you gotta go to class? Do you just need experience? So you pay about a $1,500 class. Yeah. It's the, usually it takes from two to three months on average. But you know, I quit my job and I was going every day, 12 hours a day, and I got it done in two weeks. Yeah, 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 foreign. foreign. Yeah, you see my web, you know it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Hey. Then you see my girl, you know she's foreign. got two fuel tanks, one on this side, one on this side. Yeah, that foreign, you so boring. I've been, I've been working at it foreign. I'm a caller. So foreign. I just want to thank today's sponsor, The Thumbnail Wiz. He's been making a lot of my thumbnails, and I don't know about you, but I'm not the most creative when it comes to eye-catchy thumbnails. For example, I sent him this, and then he sent me that. Oh, and trust me, he's worth every penny, and he's fast too. So, if you want to take your thumbnails to the next level, I'll put his link in the description below, and of course, let him know Ray has sent you. Now, back to the video. So what do you do after you pick up? Pick up, put your information down, so when you deliver it, they know where it came from, and who to pay it to. The checks I had as a driver. As a driver? So some of these checks were from like two days of work, but it was very inconsistent. Damn, bro. And this is one week. Checks here from one week, four thousand, and then other week, five thousand. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for sticking around on my journey. But this is gonna be my last 
YouTube video because I'm I'm starting my own trucking company. I'm gonna call it What About the Gas Incorporated because I seriously think I, I'm in the wrong bit. All right, Jose, we're done with the first trip. Well, my first trip, your second for the day? Yeah, second for the day, I started at four. So let me ask you a question. Is one of the hardest things about this job the boredom? Because all you see is this all day, right? You are gonna run out of music to play, so it is it is pretty boring sometimes. But just call a friend or just, you know, think about ideas in your own head, but I mean, other than that, there's nothing to complain about. No hands, no nothing, man, just get on the road. <laughs> And then once we're going, we set cruise control. So we're right here waiting to get weighed in. And Jose, man, your story of how you started, it's incredible for a 21-year-old. So pretty much, you want to become a truck driver. So you went to put a bid on a truck. You went to go pass your test. You got the truck. You passed the test. You couldn't get insurance. Right? Yeah, that's what happened. I mean, they I made was pretty sure it was gonna work out. It did it. They made you wait a whole year. Yes. That's a huge setback. Have to wait a year to get insurance, and during that year, you went to just go get experience, truck driving for other companies. Yes. And during that year, you saved money, twenty-eight thousand. And once you were able to finally get insurance after waiting one year. You got this truck? Yes. And now you're making bank? Yep. That's how it works. Hey, see, he took a step back, but he didn't let that stop him. But this is just the this is just to save money for your net school, right? Yes. This guy over here. Tell him about your net school. How much do you want to save? And what do you want to build? Alright, so I want to open up, like I said guys, a mixture of Chipotle and a meal prep. So the whole goal with the truck driving thing is to make those 28 turn into 50, 60 thousand dollars by the end of this year. So that's what we're working on right now. So 50 thousand, 60 thousand is the goal. Yes. All right, Jose. Where are we going with the for the new load? So for the third load, we're gonna head down south, 68 miles and eight miles. So this is gonna be about an 80 mile trip there and 80 miles back. How's it looking, man? You don't seem too happy over here. Well, we're gonna have to wait about a half an hour and yeah. then we'll head home, so not too bad. Why, because they're filling it up? Yeah, so they're carrying the trailer out there. That machine's the one who picks the tomatoes and throws them in the trailers. Oh, well, that's how it happens? Yeah, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna wait like half an hour until it gets filled up. Hey, man, let's do our thing, thing. At least we're next. At least we're next, that's right. At least that's why they pay you the big bucks, Jose. <laughs> for the right. wait. So, Jose. What tips do you have for somebody who wants to start this? Who wants to become a driver just like you? What advice do you have for them? Okay, so the first thing you can do that's like the biggest advantage is going and applying for a DOT. Because a DOT is kind of letting the insurance companies know you exist. It's gonna help when you get your license, but if you get a DOT right away and it's been going on for a year, then the insurance company's gonna think you've been driving for a year. So apply for your DOT is only like $250. And then other than that, just sign up to traffic school, to a traffic school, <laughs> to a uh, truck driving school. And even if you don't want to start driving yet, get your license because what counts in this industry is the experience. You guys can DM me on Instagram or any truck driver you guys see, they're everywhere. Just ask them what they do, man, because for every area, there's different kind of jobs. Did you ever get rejected because of your age? Well, all the big companies rejected me. Uh, they want at least two years or 23 years of age. I'm 21 right now. So I had to work and trucks with no AC and I just found jobs here and there. So, you know, I got luck not lucky, but I had to look harder than other people to find the jobs to get the experience going. I'm about to be honest with you and I might hurt your feelings, but Jose, who's 21, they told him, hey, you need two years of experience at least or be 23. Right there and there, a lot of people who hear that, they will say, oh, I'm gonna wait till I'm 23 to become a trucker, to start getting experience. No, if you wanna be successful, you need to figure stuff out right now. And I don't wanna hear any of your excuses. But Reyes, nobody's hiring, but Reyes, 
I don't have money to start a business, but Reyes, I've fallen and I can't get up. Let me tell you something. You either make excuses or you take action. You either stay where you're at or you push forward. You either wipe standing up or sitting down, but the choice is yours. So I say, why a trucker, man? It seems kind of random. <laughs> So I did my research and the fastest way to get those 50 grand is truck driving. So that's why I decided to save up money, buy a truck, and that's the only reason I'm doing this. I'm literally getting in four months and then out. And I got my money, so just using the trucking industry. I know what you're thinking, Ray, it's being a trucker super easy. And it looks like it, but just like any business, you have your headaches. So I think the hardest part about the job is if you don't get your sleep right, uh, when you're working, you're, you're dragging yourself, falling asleep. So it's very important to get sleep. Other than that, I mean, if anything breaks down, it sucks. That's why I had to buy a pretty uh, near truck on the near side. But any issues, tires are tires in the back are two grand to get them replaced when I need tires. The front are also two grand. And oil change was $500 when I got the oil change. So there's big expenses here and there. What time you wake up today? And what time are we planning on ending today? So today, I woke up at 2 in the morning, started at 4, and then at 4, 4.30, 12 hour day. I'm gonna make some pretty good money in those 12 hours. And that's a short day? Yeah, that's a short day. All right, so before we tell you how much he made in one day being a truck driver, Jose, what would you like promoting, man? Where can people follow you for some more knowledge? So I am uh, recording my journey on uh, my YouTube channel at J Batum and I'm going to be showing how much I'm going to make at the end of the season and buying all the equipment I need to start my business going and whether it's it's worth it or not, you know, taking the risk I took. I also have a podcast, the Simple Hope Podcast, and my Instagram at J Batum as well. Just like an entrepreneur, he started new things, documenting them. I'll put everything in the description below. Go show him some love. And this is how much he made today. Jose, we did four trips. Well, with you, I did two, and then I did one myself in the morning, so it was three. Three trips? Yeah. How much money did you make on those three trips? So my first trip was to location 1261, and that was a uh, $330 trip. And then the second trip that we were raised, it was a short one. That was a $240 trip. And then the last one we did right now was a $348 trip. So in total, we got $918 in three trips. Oh, dang. Jose, 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 we can't forget about the gas. You spent $260? Yes, I spent $260 on the diesel, but that's gonna be good for about two days. So we can divide that by half, $260, divided by two, it's $130. So we're right about $780 profit for today. $780. I think I'm in the wrong business, Jose. I I'm going to get my license today. All right, all right. Hey, well, if you enjoyed this ride along, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.